Okay, a uh, quick video here. For anybody who has a Renai tankless water heater, um, I know it's for the V series and the R series. Uh, if you're getting, every time you call for a hot water, if this starts flashing a 14 code, you blew the thermal fuse. And here's a very simple way to check it because I couldn't find anything anywhere to help me. Um, you got to take the cover off. Okay, here's your thermal fuse. This, this thing here is the beginning of your thermal fuse, and I believe this, this will open if it gets too hot here. Anyway, if you follow these wires, one goes that way towards the back through a white sleeve, and one goes this way through a black sleeve. The white sleeve wraps around the unit, comes back to here, they meet right here. In this sleeve, there's fuses. They look like, uh, to me, they look like resistors. And there's a bunch of them. Um, if any of those fuses blow, your unit shuts down. And the fastest way to check is get yourself a cheap meter, put it on uh, resistance, ohms, follow the two wires that come out of here. One comes out of the black, one comes out of the, out of the white. Disconnect them. This is going to take the longest of the video is disconnecting these. <laughs> Give me a minute. I'm not very good at this, but if you disconnect them, and in my case, you can't screw up. I don't know if you can reverse these. I have a feeling it doesn't matter if you reverse them, but somebody marked this with a red so that they would line up. Um, but honestly, I don't think it matters because they're going to the same circuit. You know, they're like the two legs of the same circuit. Come on, John. There. Okay. Once you got them disconnected, all you do is to put your meter leads in here. And see, now I replaced mine. I fixed mine. So mine shows... I have continuity through that circuit, but I didn't have continuity through that circuit when it was failing. Um, you'll get you'll get the OL, you know, or an open circuit if any of those fuses in there are blown. And I swear there's at least five of them in the white sleeve. I didn't even take the black sleeve off. Um, there's one right there. You can feel them. So there's at least one in the black sleeve. And I'm telling you, there's, I'm, I'm going to say five in the white sleeve. And if any of those blow, your unit shuts down and it flashes a 14. You can buy this, this part. Uh, I think I saw them as cheap as maybe 40, 50 bucks. So it comes with the black sleeve, the white sleeve, this piece, you know, all assembled. And, and you can do that. But here's the thing. In order to fix this, you got to take this whole unit out. And if you're ambitious enough to do that, um, you might as well, when you, when you get it all out, just find your blown fuse. It cost me uh, eight bucks at the appliance parts place. So that's what I did here. I, I, I just took out the blown fuse. I put in the new one. I, I used, um, they had, their fuses had, had like um, spade, not spade connectors, but you know, like these connectors, okay. I just use these little um, um, crimpons, butt connectors, without any insulation on them. You don't want to have insulation because if it gets hot, the insulation will get hot and melt. So, but anyway, that's it. I just wanted to show people that in, in case somebody's out there getting an error 14 and they can't find anything on it. It's so simple to check it. And I'm almost positive when you do this, you're going to find an open circuit. You're going to know what your problem is now. You don't know what caused it to blow. So that's, that's the thing. You know, once you fix it, then you got to hope it blew, you know, that there's not a reason it blew. Or you got to find out the reason why it blew. Um, you know, in my case, I don't know why it blew. 
Um, I haven't tested it. I've just put it all back together in my garage and I'm not in a hurry because I have an actual water heater. Uh, I took this out of a lady's house. Uh, I put another one in for her. And in my spare time, I'm gonna try to figure out why it blew. But anyway, the video is just to show you. If you get a 14, there's your problem. Verify there's your problem by checking that and then go from there. Okay, thanks.